Hello, welcome back to Tiki Rick Adventures. I'm Tiki Rick. That's Oogie Boogie. We are here for his bash. It is very windy and it's starting to get cold. Look at the queues to get in. Uh, I'm on the fence right now whether I should try out something or not. I know Blue Sky Cellar, it's going to be a, a DVC member lounge actually eventually, but as of now, Blue Sky Cellar, you can check in and grab your Oogie Boogie Bash wristband if you're already in the parks. Now, they said, the verbiage says before three o'clock, but I really don't think there's a hard cutoff. I kind of want to scan in since I have a reservation for DCA. Kind of want to scan in and go check Blue Sky Cellar. These queues are really, really long. I mean, it would save me at least 30 minutes of standing in this line, so, hmm. All right, well, anyways, either way, I did not get a costume in time, unfortunately. I'll show you guys I brought a Halloween jacket, a Disney jacket at least, but I'm hoping to wear my costume for uh, October when I come. Unfortunately, it was sent to me. I ordered it at the very beginning of August, which I thought I planned ahead. I was patting myself on the back. It got sent to me and it was the wrong size. And to exchange it is gonna take at least a month. So I don't even know if I'm gonna have it in time for October, so. Yeah, I failed. I, I, I told myself this year, I swore I was not gonna fail. I was gonna come up with a good costume, but here we are, you know. I tried, I can't say I did not attempt to try, but yeah, apparently I got the wrong size. So we're just gonna be in normal clothes tonight, no outfit. But anyways, yeah, let's go to Oogie Boogie Bash. Let's go grab some food and do all the tree trails, see the Frightfully Fun Parade. Let's go Buddhist. So I asked a cast member and she's like, please, please go to Blue Sky Cellar. It'll save people in line and it'll save you time. It'll save the cast members time. She's like, they're standing over there right now at Blue Sky Cellar. They got nothing better to do. So they call this the mix in period. So if you're here prior to six, like I said, it's not a hard three. It's more like a hard six. Okay, so it's across from the Blue Sky Cellar. See, that's Blue Sky Cellar. Cross the street, event check-in. If you come over here, there's no line and uh, you can get your wristband a lot quicker this way, so might as well. There's only like five people in front of me, so yeah, lickety split, they'll get you a wristband. So here's a look at the map for tonight. It includes Villains Grove, Headless Horseman rides again, that I'm excited for. See which horse it is tonight, see if I can tell the difference. Treat Trails, Mickey's Trick and Treat. I probably, I'm gonna skip Mickey's Trick and Treat, I just feel, I know some adults do it, but I'm by myself right now. And, Eh, just would feel kind of weird to go in there and children's party. The map also has all the treat trails all around it. There's all the different photo opportunities too. You just have to look at the legend and it'll tell you what's what. Here's the legend here. Treat trails are the cauldron. Photo opportunities have the camera, Mickey's Trick and Treat. That's all the pumpkins, Frightfully Fun Parade, and Villains Grove. Villains Grove is a must do. It is a light and sound spectacular. It's amazing. All right, so they were able to get me in upstairs at Carthay, so I'm gonna eat here for dinner real quick before the party starts. We have about two hours still, and I'm gonna get that flight that came out. It just came out, and it's gonna be really sought after, so it's really usually hard to get in the restaurant. They weren't taking walk-ins on the app, so I'm excited. So let's see how it goes, and I'll let you know how the drink is, and I'll let you see the ceramic set too. It's very cool. I got a spot up here. I got pretty much the whole place to myself. Look at this, it's me and the pumpkins. <laughs> this is awesome. Um, they are unsure if they're up the stairs in the restaurant or downstairs in the lounge. Everybody's posting that they're in the restaurant and they're posting the word restaurant. So hopefully they uh, figure that out eventually on social media because they're gonna misinform people. But apparently you need to go downstairs. So we'll see, we'll find out. This is the best spot to watch the five done ever. This is the best spot to be though. It's uh, right next door to 1901, so you got a great view from up here, and you can see all the pumpkins from up here. It's really cool. I can watch everyone come in in their Halloween costumes too. This is awesome. I like it. I can hear the headless horseman. 
So if I don't get the apple tree, the spooky apple tree, then I'll at least uh, get some dinner because this is one of the best places to eat for sure. It's kind of muggy, but this is really nice. It's starting to cool down, so I'll enjoy it out here. Like I said, it's just me and the pumpkins. They gave me this whole patio. What a perk. I'm sure others will show up through my meal, but for now, it's just me. So the good news is this patio was pretty much to myself the whole beginning part, which was really nice, and it's still not crowded at all. But the bad news is they only have the spooky tree set downstairs. The app says that they are not doing dining downstairs. It's not available, so eh, it probably won't wait around all night just for that. It was just one of those happenstance things. I figured I might as well grab it if I could, and it looks like you cannot. So we've been misinformed, and eh, now we know. But yeah, don't try to come upstairs to the restaurant. All social medias, their postings, a Carthay Circle restaurant is where you go to grab that. That's not true. It's Carthay Circle Lounge. It's Alfresco Dining. It's two different things in the app. They are two different establishments. One's upstairs, one's downstairs. So by them using restaurant, it's a misnomer because the restaurant's actually not the downstairs lounge. Oh well, now we know. This is getting more and more exciting. So they said I can buy it actually. They gave me special permission, but I have to walk downstairs afterwards to get, grab it. They're gonna have it on hold for me. So that is awesome. I'm super appreciative to actually get that. Thank you to the cast member for making this magic for me. Oh. Ooh. You heard that? Headless Horseman, they're stomping over this way. Yeah, so I'm really excited. So yay, we finally get to get that drink and I'm gonna try that. I'm mostly getting it just for the mug. I don't even know what the drink is. I didn't even ask. I don't even know if I'm getting the drink, to be honest. I'll have to ask about the drink, but I'm not really interested in that, just trying to get the mugs. But look at this view. Okay, can I just cancel Oogie Boogie Bash and just stay up here all night instead? <laughs> so I got a ginger lemongrass chicken. And for this season, it's actually deep fried instead of grilled, but it's lightly breaded and fried. It smells amazing. That smells like jasmine or basmati. I can smell the floralness to that rice, so it's one of the two. You got some papaya, a mango sauce at the bottom. It smells incredible. It is very moist, very well cooked chicken. Nice white meat chicken, good quality. It's a lot of mint garnish. It smells incredible. If I had smell vision if you guys could have smell vision on YouTube, oof. My mouth is watering. And the drink was a poison apple teeny. It is, by my standards, disgusting. I, I probably will, uh, eh, I might sip a couple sips. Maybe I'll get through the whole thing. It's too sweet. You know, I'm not a sweet drinker. But, uh, yeah, I'm sure if you like sweet martinis you will like this if you like apple teenies you're gonna enjoy this it tastes like very tart apples but it tastes like also tastes like very very sweet green apples just not my thing if you guys watch mammoth club i actually met molly she was a very very fantastic woman i met molly uh, right right below on this very street when she was here at dca one time we had a good chat but if you ever watch her channel i'm covering her three bases you got to get caffeinated hydrated and Inundated? I don't know. Have a good time. That's all. That's the third one. So far, it's absolutely amazing. Delicious. So that was a fantastic start to Oogie Boogie Bash. That was amazing chicken. I highly recommend that. If you have a chance to come to Carthay Circle, any of their seasonal stuff's great. They change it out each season. All the chicken's always good, and the pork chop's always good, too. Filet Mignon's a little pricier. Their filet's okay, but for the price, it could be a little better. But pork chop and chicken, always my recommendation. This is a first for me. I have never watched the Five and Dime from up here. Wow, I'm in heaven. Literally the lyrics of the song. It's pretty much the moment. very special because he brought it up to me and he said do not unbox this up here because this is not allowed <laughs> very nice of him wow Ooh, dang the box might be just as nice as the mugs holy Toledo's but my punishment is now I have to carry this down without tripping down the stairs this thing is massive look at that massive all right so I wanted to show you guys I did manage to get it home but wow that was a monumental task to say the least to get this home with my luggage and everything on the train was 
quite a bit. They gave me a little bit of a flimsy bag, so I had to get an extra bag too to put it in. That way when the bag they gave me started to rip, I had something to put it in. But, oh my gosh, was it worth it. This, I don't think this is like technically a tiki mug, but it's tiki adjacent and it'll fit in my mug collection wonderfully. Look at the display box alone. Love that gold foiling. I mean, that is just really fantastic. Just the artwork of the tree on the box is wonderful. And I love the gold foiling on the lettering for Carthay Circle Restaurant. That is just amazing. So it comes as a set. The tree itself, it has this little handle to grab. The tree is made out of uh, like an epoxy resin, like a hard resin. So it's almost kind of like a plastic type. The mugs are ceramic and they are awesome. Really good quality. The glaze on them is really nice. They're glazed on the inside and the out. Love the coloring. I mean, how cool is that? This is like my new favorite thing in my whole collection. So it came with three mugs. I would not recommend getting this on a special event night. Barely could fit it in my locker. So it was quite a pain getting it home. But yeah, like I said, it was worth it. That is so cool. And you do also need to be in the downstairs lounge for this. So look for Carthay Circle Al Fresco Lounge. And it's a little bit confusing because there is an indoor section for the lounge. There's a bar and there are some tabletops. There's some high tabletops and there's some lower, uh, more comfortable seating too. But they have quite a few tables inside. It's not all al fresco. So the verbiage is a little bit confusing. I figured I'd clear that up. But don't go to Carthay Circle Restaurant. That's where it gets confusing. A lot of the posts online are saying you can get that at Carthay Circle Restaurant. You technically cannot. They made an exception for me and I'm super appreciative of that. But you should never expect them to make an exception. So you'll definitely want to just do the Alfresco restaurant. Carthay Circle Alfresco Lounge. That's the verbiage on the app. There will be two different restaurants on the app, so don't get them confused. Yeah, but if you want it, get it. They're going to sell out quick. All right, I think the wristband perimeters are going to be set pretty soon. They're, they're walking people out of the park. We got 20 minutes to go. Regular guests can still mix in for 20 more minutes, but uh, I'm going to try to catch Ernesto de la Cruz. I think I'm most excited for him. And uh, embarrassingly enough, I did not catch him last year. So I'd love to see Ernesto this year. All right, let's do it. All right, so I asked the cast member and they said Ernesto de la Cruz will be at the Hyperion Theater. Wow, that's news to me. That's surprising, let's go find him. I thought for sure he'd be over here, but it's gonna be uh, Madame Mim over on this side. So let's go find him. All right, here's me getting a selfie with the Headless Horseman. Ready? Oh, I kind of match the trees. Perfect. Beautiful. He's getting louder and louder. I'm waiting for him to light up though. That'll be amazing. I love when the lights come on. Oh, I just saw my friend Molly the Messenger and it's hilarious. She knows me my name. I'm not even kidding. She was like, hey Tiki Rick, how's it going? Awesome. Love to see Molly the Messenger. But they're not here for the bash tonight. So at least I caught them right before they are. Well, whatever they're gonna go do for tonight instead of being at Boogie Bash. So whatever citizens of Buena Vista Street do. All right, so the queues open at six o'clock. They're not too bad. I mean, this treat trail only has a couple dozen people in it. And this is for Ernesto. So I'm gonna get in this one. And then Oogie Boogie is behind us at the uh, animation building. So I'm gonna try that after too. There's no one, there's no queue yet for Oogie Boogie. So no one started the process yet. So maybe I'll start here and then hit that after. So there's like two dozen people in front of me. So I should get up there pretty soon and then I'll hit uh, Oogie Boogie, the master of ceremonies, we'll hit him next. It's five till and we're already moving in line. So that's, that's a good sign. I guess they're gonna open things up early, get things moving along early. So that's always good. It gets things uh, you know, moving along quicker that way. Oh, behind the scenes, there he goes. That's hilarious. Oh, oh, he's going back behind the bushes. We're gonna play a concert back there behind the bushes. Oh, everyone cheered. That was pretty funny. When, when everyone noticed him come out the back door, everyone cheered. There he is, he came out. Wow. Ah, I would only throw this rose to my biggest fan. Yes. Oh. My biggest fans sounded like they were over on this side. Woo! Ah, oh, now it's 
sounding a little louder on this side. entertainment for you, so of course he invited me. Ernesto de la Cruz. Ah, boogie boogie, no. <laughs> no zoogie boogie, no zoogie boogie. <laughs> gracias, amiga. You got me, huh? <laughs> So that was awesome. Donald loved meeting Ernesto de la Cruz. I think that's his favorite. It's also my favorite. Now we're gonna go see the master of ceremonies, Oogie Boogie himself. He's uh, trying to keep everything moving though. It makes it more conducive to everyone getting candy that way. So we're gonna move right along and we'll just take his video as we pass by him. So next on my list, I want to see Yokai. I'd love to see Yokai. Should we should we mess with him? Should we call him Cray? Remember on the movie they thought it was Cray the whole time and it was Callahan. It was Callahan the whole time and his daughter, because because his daughter got stuck in the portal. And yeah, anyways. We you all you've seen the movie. But yeah, I want to go see Yokai. $69.99. There's this boogie boogie hoodie. This is really cool. Look how the hoodie pocket has a zip up on it. That is really cool. The aglets are dice. They're little dice patches. That is super cool. That was $69.99 for that. I like the zipper a lot. I like the sleeves, how it's with Oogie Boogie Bash 2023. And there's bugs and stuff on his on the sleeve here as well. This one's amazing. Wow. Glows in the dark. Look at that. Okay. Glow in the dark. That is $89.99. Wow. I kind of want that, but I wouldn't wear it enough, I don't think. I don't know. 
this music definitely sounds more ominous. Sounds more like yokai. The other day when I was here, I kept hearing Nicki Minaj, I swear. Starships. Did anyone else hear that in the loop? It sounded like Nicki. Maybe that's just, I got Nicki on my brain. She's got free real estate in my head. One of my favorite artists. But I swear it sounded like Starships. Now my daughter, my daughter. Oh, he's admitting. He's admitting he's Callahan. Okay. The cat's out of the bag. But because of Alistair Cray's negligence, she's now gone. Oh, but we're still, so we know the knowledge from the end of the movie, but we're still in the middle of the movie. So plot-wise, plot-wise it's confusing. you know about where they may be, now's the time to let me know. Interesting piece of technology that you're wearing. Perhaps after Craytech Industries has served justice, I'll release the neurotransmitter that I've designed to control these microbots. Holy moly. Mother of Pearl, Toledo. This is, am I ever gonna see Yokai? They're sending me back to the front of the park. Uh, I don't know about this one. Yeah, it's moving, they're moving pretty quick. I guess we'll give it a go. So the end of the line was back here in Cars Land, kind of by the uh, Rusty sign over there. I dang near fainted. Oh wait, no, the, the sheriff of dang near fainted. I dang near fainted when I saw the size of this line though. Mind controls a legion of microbots. Mm -hmm. I'm better. That was really awesome to meet Yokai. Oh my god, it's it's crow clock. Look at this. This whole tree, this whole tree is like a Halloween tree. It's like Oogie Boogie's tree. They're just they're just swarming over me. You should have heard that loud cacophony. They're very, very noisy tonight. Oh, there goes one. I swear there was a whole crowd though. A murder. <laughs> They're making quite a ruckus up there. The lights look really nice in this tree. Wait, okay, let me say that when I'm pointing at lights. Okay, the lights look really nice at this tree. Yeah, uh, nailed it. They've taken over the pine trees. There's one. Disney crows are a different breed of crow. Oh, oh, they're just so noisy. It's hard for me to pick a favorite. Like, I don't have one favorite food. I have quite a few favorite foods, and I don't really have one favorite movie. I have favorite directors, but that would be uh, Wes Anderson, uh, Quentin Tarantino, and Robert Zemeckis. So, Roger Rabbit is one of my favorite movies. Love Robert Zemeckis, love Forrest Gump, love Back to the Future. So, let's go meet Judge Doom. Christopher Lloyd is absolutely amazing. Like I said, love Back to the Future. I think that's an amazing movie. Doc is one of the best characters of all time. Judge Doom, though, is a great character. You know, Christopher Lloyd is really good as, as uh, Uncle Fester, too, actually. But yeah, Christopher Lloyd is second to none when it comes to acting. But I want to go see who they picked to fill his shoes, because Judge Doom, that's a big role to fill. So let's go meet him. So we're at Cars Land for sundown. Try to catch the shaboom. I mean, you know, they do the Halloween version. Last year it was, I put a spell on you. We'll see what it is. Right on the beat.
Ben's clown costume looks awesome. That's amazing.
it could have been and more. Oh my goodness.
The smell of rose is in the air. It's very fragrant. You guys for joining me on this adventure today. I had so much fun at Oogie Boogie Bash. That was incredible. I think I consider that a major success to meet four characters. I met Oogie Boogie, Ernesto de la Cruz, Judge Doom, and Yokai. And I did Villains Grove. I did the Frightfully Fun Parade. It's there, You can't do everything in these events. They're such a short period, such a short time period. But I'll be back in October, so I think I did plenty for the night. It was a little bit humid. I know I wasn't in the worst costume, but this jacket is like made of rubber. Um, sometimes the Disneyland material is not the best, and it feels like wearing a rubber suit. It, it holds in a lot of heat, so I had to take it off from time to time, but I had a lot of fun. That was a great, great night. Boogie Boogie Bash was a success 100%. What an awesome day. What a great adventure we had. Anyways, thank you guys for joining me. Until next time, happy Halloween. Boo to you and take care.